welcome back to my channel dreamers today a very simple topic wheels some of you ask me how to create wheels on dreams and therefore in a 2d context obviously creating an animation that looks 3d well with this new project i'm experimenting with it i think the result is already very good but there is still a lot of work to do here especially on the movement effect of the car it still seems too much like it slides on the ground. If you have any advice, please let me know. Before moving on the tutorial, I want to remind you that my latest short, Dungeon of the Animator, has been released on my channel. Obviously, the title sucks, but unfortunately I couldn't think of anything else, but I wanted something that would remind the viewers that creating animations whether 2D or 3D, is a really difficult job and requires a lot of patience. So when I tell you that today we are going to do a very simple exercise, I give you permission to tell me to go to hell. <laughs> but to do this, obviously, subscribe to the channel. Let's start here on Procreate to show you the elements I used to create the wheel. We'll first understand how to make it rotate, how to put it in a 3D context and finally we'll have fun making it bounce a bit. So I want to tell you the story of the wheel and its discovery. I'm sure there are many archaeologists who can help you more than me. Hmm. So we find the two main levels that I drew on Procreate the base as you see here and this shape in the center which as we'll see on dreams will be the light of the wheel a bit like if it were the rim in negative but i would say to move on to dreams uh, so that we can better understand what i'm talking about as always i'm enjoying ios 26 i want to go back to the previous update mm -mm. Ah! Sometimes the pages don't move and all that's left is to scream. Now import the whole project. Ok, we are finally on dreams, let's move on to the animations. Convert the layers to tracks. Inside the group we find the two levels that we saw on Procreate. First thing we see is to create the rotation, which is obviously very simple by adding a keyframe at the end of the timeline with the move and scale tool. I add this keyframe to the rim shape and only to that one. I have 30 seconds of timeline here so I will have to give a very high rotation value for a fast enough movement. As always, very important thing, trend the curve to linear. Ok. The rotation is already quite fast, it's fine for the exercise. But now we need to get this effect and to do that we'll simply use the layer mask. But before using it I have to put this layer inside a group. Like this. We'll see shortly why I did it this way, but in the meantime I set the layer mask on the group layer mask and now invert ok with this trick i created the light in the wheel now let's try to understand why it was useful to group the layer for example if i wanted to create the axle system of a car i could do it because i can make the wheels turn and at the same time i have the possibility of squashing them to make sure they have the right 3 dimensionality. But let's see how in our example if I go on the group, using the scale tool I press the shape 
changes only on the x-axis so that the rotation of the rim continues. Obviously, I should also scale the base of the wheel for a realistic effect, but in the meantime I want you to understand the difference between resizing directly on the shape or on the group. Here we have resized the group, but now let's see if I had used this system directly on the shape. Enter the group and do the same thing on the shape. If I try to scale like before, I get this and it's certainly not what I wanted to do. Maybe it could be interesting for another animation. <laughs> By squashing the shape behind I can then arrange the wheel and I can then add it in a context that makes it look 3D. I can obviously do much more, for example moving the rim light to the left so the 3D effect works much better. We can't distort entire groups on dreams yet, otherwise the effect would be even better. But who knows, maybe with the new update it will be possible. For example we can make the wheel bounce like this, obtaining a really interesting effect. This will be the next topic of the day. What we'll do is bounce the wheel from left to right of the screen and we also see how the rotation should behave. Let's try to set a keyframe at 1 second with the move and scale tool and we move the wheel to the right. Has a trend curve set linear. I need to turn the wheel backwards. <laughs> but first continue with the bounce animation, I'll bring the wheel a little higher here. It will have to be high to bounce back down. Now I need a surface, a ground where to drop the wheel. I'm going to fill the screen with this red. Fill the track. And move it here. Ok. Let's go back to the wheel. Expanding the coordinates, now let's work on the Y axis. At this point I add a keyframe and bring the wheel down. Here he is in as a trend curve and here he is out. In this way created the animation with the correct physics. But the most interesting thing will be to understand how the rotation behaves inside. Let's go into the group and work on the rotation keyframes. In the meantime I'm going to give the rotation a negative value. The movement will have to be clockwise. But I want to add an effect and that is an increase in speed when the wheel falls to the ground. I add a keyframe here. In correspondence with the keyframe that we placed before on the Y axis, at this point I expand the coordinates and from here on I modify the easy out curve. In this way from that point the speed suddenly increases making the effect more realistic. We can also remove the initial keyframe from this so that the rotation starts when it hits the ground. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that it's useful for your projects. I'm having a lot of fun here. Actually I want to tell you that this new short I'm working on will be called Animal and it's about a gangster versus some strange beast. Obviously it's still a work in progress, there will be a lot to do, but if you want to stay updated, well, stay on my channel. As always, please remember to leave a comment if you need help or don't understand something. Thanks for watching and...